Almost forgot to hit to record. I was just gonna continue on. Whoops. Good, good, you're back. And so Dr. Carrion gave you his hollow journal after all? Unfortunately, I was forced to kill him. Dr. Carrion too, huh? Well, that makes his journal even more important. Let me see. Please don't be encrypted. Wandering off? This team's eccentricities are getting unbearable. The Deep Cradle's secrets should make up for it. It started like that. Here, the next entry's a few days later. Following me about, I led them here, and now they're... they're nameless. A switch. A little switch behind the Cradle's third stone. I can't think here. Where did I leave my study? Listen, he said switch. The Deep Cradle's secret. It's altars grant enlightenment. It's time I make my leave. No, you can't leave, not both of you. I'll be alone. Maybe I can send a distress signal, but how long before I'm rescued? And what if the ritual wears off? The Deep Cradle isn't going anywhere. We'll stay here until rescue arrives. You'd do that for me? <laughs> Thank you. I'll send the signal right now. And then, one night, there was this sort of crackling noise to the east. But whenever we got up, it, it went quiet again. Actually, these lands remind me a bit of the forests back home, only worse. Hello? We got a distress call and... Are you the only survivors? There was an incident. Dr. Carrion's team is gone. This man needs escorting home. He'll be safe with us, Master Jedi. Wait. Here. I, I found this near the Deep Cradle. It, it looks kind of valuable. Take it. Please. Such generosity is unnecessary, but I appreciate it. Goodbye. Thanks for everything. You show great patience. Be sure of the path, then call. I follow. Okay. All righty then. Do you need new boots? Those aren't really better. I'm just good at this. I have too much stuff. I have way too much crap in my inventory. Cunning, huh? Well, I see. <clears throat> That ain't too far. Um. Yeah. I don't think we went here to this place on my bounty hunter, man. I'm telling you. I do not remember this. I think we went to a different area. I don't think we went to the Nightmare Lands, because this is. None of this looks familiar. God, Voss is long as well with its main quest. I mean, it's all easier to get to. It doesn't take so long to get to, but there's a lot to do on this damn place. I'm getting a little bit of frame drop here as well. Little bit of frame drop, frame drop. Little bit of what, 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 what? Frame drop, frame drop, drop. All right, the entrance should be down here. With, you know, a pile of dead skeleton and bones around it, you know. That's, that ain't too bad, huh? More exploring. I'm with you, master. They're crazed, man. They've gone insane. The dark heart. <laughs> it 
It is the Dark Heart. And they have become crazy. They have gone nuts. And insane in the brain. Insane in the brain! Oh no. This ain't no ordinary crazy. This is Sith. This is some Sith crap right here. He's glowing red. There's no way. Trying to avoid everybody. Find the yes, hidden switch. A hidden switch, they say. Oh god, droids. Just what the doctor ordered. More droids. You kicked on the wrong people. I'm stronger than I thought. Ooh. Drop some sort of Oh, strength cloak, of course. Hmm, I wonder where the switch is. Could it be behind this giant rock right here? Three altars. I meditate for enlightenment. Any nesting beasts will wake. You'll be perfectly safe with me. Inside, my journey's end. Find the altar of life. Whoa, man. The altar of life itself? Oh, is he fighting? Oh, for a second there, it looked like he he went up and hit him. I don't think he did, though. That would have been insane. Hang on. If I have to protect him, might as well have full health, huh? Protector should be safe himself. Oh, boy. Here's the beast. Dark heart creature. Hey, I've seen these before. Tough. Can you hurry up with that meditation, please? Thank you. That'd be most appreciated. Oh, boy. Thank you. <laughs> that, uh, that could have been a little quicker. But you know what? You know, you just, you just, you just do what you gotta do, my friend, huh? Just go, just, you just, you just do what you gotta do. Another altar, here we go, hang on. Let's do this. Again, the same exact ones. Okay. You picked on the wrong people. All right, I'm just putting weak in mind on all of them, and then I'm doing force quick because it's about all I can do right now. Oh, 
Holy crap. Okay, this is a little tough. Investigate the growing dark energy? Well, hang on. I need to get full health. Oh, no. Oh, boy. This ain't gonna be good. Oh! Oh, jeez! That's new. Okay. Stun that mother sucker. Oh! He seems to have stunned my Padawan. Oh, jeez. Help me! I got you. I got you. Stay alive, you son of a bitch. Oh no. No, no, no. No, this can't happen. My Padawan. You killed my Padawan. Hey, a new helmet. I need that. I wanted to... Oh my god, that's hideous. Ugh, gross. Hang on, I need to go in here. Put... Give her a... Little... Oh, can't do that while she's incapacitated. Okay, well, let me get her up then. Sorry. No, no, it's okay. You don't have to be sorry. Oh my god. That was only the second one. We still got one more to go. What the hell is in store next? I'm not ready. Are you, Nadia? You're probably not either. Screw it. YOLO. Jedi YOLO style, dog. Quick. Alright, put a shield on me. Put a shield on Nadia. Let's do this. Light in darkness. Grandfather? You died. The cave and the beast before my rescue. I apologize, sir, for not being able to save you. Talons in my flesh, Gaiden Co. My breath fading. My last thought. Failure. Grandfather, stop! Hope remains. We sprang from this deep cradle. The altars root us. Life. Death. Duty. Here, all is possible. Ask, and life returns. Your parents, sister, cousins, myself, returned. Shall it be? These lands are corrupted. This apparition could be lying. I... my family... no. I must accept. Learn from what is necessary. I cannot be selfish. You shoulder a mystic's burden. Willingly. Training ends, Gaiden Co. Grandfather, your death. I do not understand. It will take your life to understand, Jedi. Your protection made this possible. The Jedi way is to serve. A reward is due. You walk a difficult path. If you seek truth, ask. Can you tell me who the first son is? The first son stands always behind you. He begins, does not end. Wait, you can't just leave it at that. A small token, hidden, 
to ease suffering. It is yours. Darkness lingers. Healing must begin, Jedi. Seek the divide. Gaiden Ko, farewell. Grandfather, I will. Jedi, wait. I see. The world is different. Beautiful. A vision. I am a mystic. Your vision? What was it? Two suns, one alight, the other dead. A mountain to the stars. The three must know. Then, to Vaska. Go to the three chambers? We're not done yet? God, what the heck, man? Okay. Well, we're not done yet. Is there, there's not a quick way I have to go all the way back, huh? Well, you're lucky I have this rocket boost. I bet you it's somebody we, we know from somewhere, this first son. On, let's go. It's gotta be somebody we know. What that means, he's always behind you. I'm trying to think who always contacts us. Could be anybody on that ship, could be the one guy from Balmora. Oh, balls, I went too far. Or maybe it's not. Maybe it's just going to be somebody random. Maybe it'll be a Jedi Master. Yes, more exploring. The Force flows through me. The hell? A random chest? A random chest has appeared. Uh get rid of this. Hey. I'll take it and then I'll give her those other ones. Uh no actually, those aren't actually better. All right. It says go to the three chambers though. Oh, and Vashka. Well, then why the hell did I have to go here? Was that a bonus? I guess. I guess I just did a bonus. Whoops. Did not mean to. Oh well. Let's go to Vashka. Get off Vash. Vos. Vaska. And then we need to go to the Imperial Fleet, do all sorts of crap there. It's a lot to do. We might even hit level 49. And if we do, that means I'm going to just do Corella's main quest and that's it. Because that'll get us to 50 easily and we don't want to over level so I can't do like the False Emperor or something. So yeah, we don't want to, we don't want to over level. Dog. Cause that's just the way it is. Things will never be the same. That's just the way it is. Oh yes. Mystic scene? What is the interpreter's message? Oh man, we're talking to the big three, man. The big three O. Come on, let's go. Whoa, that's a giant ass crystal. See now that's a giant crystal. There is an elder. Game. For his, grandchildren. his love will help him lead. The three will grow wiser. I will carry the message. The three, man. Welcome, Jedi. I am Sun V of the Three. This is a joyous day. The interpreters speak. 
Gaden Co.'s vision is genuine. Gaden Co., we ordain you mystic. Be always wise. You've learned well, and grown up a little too. I needed your guidance. Gaden Co.'s entourage grows. Interpreters await. Healers travel from the shrine. Jen Arce volunteers to lead his guardians. Has Gaden Co.'s vision been interpreted? The interpreters speak. Gaden Co.'s vision is clear. Unusually so. He must see your force. Both sides. He cannot learn here. Gaden Co. must travel with you. If he is willing, Gaden Co. is certainly welcome aboard my ship. I will see the galaxy that made you. We gain a mystic, now lose him to the outsiders. I am not lost. The Jedi show kindness, patience, generosity. We should learn. Consider allying with the Republic. The Republic would provide whatever you need to expand. We will consider it, Gaden Co. Carry Voss with you. Always. I shall. Please, I must greet my entourage. Call when we leave. Go to your ship's airlock on Voss. Oh, snap. God, I'm having like a whole freaking... I don't have any room on my ship, people. Alright? <laughs> I really have... God, we have all eight of my companions now. We have like all those diplo diplo uh, diplomats. Freaking... Now we have... Freaking hollow voice and all those guys. We got freaking... Too many people. Now we got Voss. It's a flying house. Flying hotel, apparently, now. May the odds be ever in your favor. May the odds be ever in your favor. Um. I have nothing to say. We gotta go to the airlock. Can't travel to my ship. Just gotta go straight to the airlock. I guess I could have stopped recording, but. Whatever. Hmm. PvP area. There's a PV you can PvP in this place. <laughs> Say what? How do the Voss feel about having an orbital station? Yes, They've never even been in space and they have an orbital station. Hello again, Jedi. I managed to get away from the embassy for a minute. Gaten Cole, congratulations. I knew you could do it. And now you're leaving? Gaten Cole may lead his people into the galaxy and the Republic. What a wonderful idea, but I'm afraid I can't allow it. My friend, Sophia? It's all right, Gaten Cole. Your true destiny is just beginning. When the Jedi is dead, I'll explain everything. I n Damn it! Oh, she doesn't even have, like, any health. So sh this definitely isn't the freaking... This doesn't even... This, that, that, no. There was no way that was the big, the big mama. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. 
Oh, you're lucky that I'm a good character. Ooh, you're lucky. You're stronger than you look. I understand now. You're one of the Emperor's children, like Blazus. I bear that honor, yes. I intended the pilgrimage to truly test Gaiden Co. Power or death, hopefully yours. The first son will kill me for failing. But it doesn't matter. I've known the perfect enlightenment of serving the Emperor. Come with me. Let me save you from him. But who will save you? You don't know who the first son is. I'll share a little secret. Neither does he. You see, Jedi, some children never know their true nature. They sleepwalk through life until the ah. Emperor wakes them. The first son serves the Emperor, then returns to normal, unaware. A politician? A soldier? Maybe one of your allies. How can the first son commit such acts and not be aware of it? The mind is malleable. We accept, we explain away. I trusted. I am betrayed. I'm sorry, Gaiden Co. I wanted to see you exalted at the Emperor's right hand. But you chose the Republic. I can't save you. We heard battle. The door was barred. Gaiden Co., honored one, are you well? I am well, thank you. We're a bit shaken, but everything's fine. We have had no Sith prisoners. Her fate is sealed. What's the penalty for endangering a mystic's safety? She leaves Voskar. Jenner say, you can't let her get away with this. She takes the step of harmony, down from the mountain, leaves Voskar forever. Jenner say, throwing someone to their death is barbaric. It is the law. She knew. Yes, I did. Enjoy your moment of victory, Jedi. It will be fleeting. We return when all is done. Well, wait a second, is the first son me? Am I the first son? That's gonna be really cheesy, but cool at the same time. Cheesy, but cool. Watch, it's gonna be like, I'm the first son, oh my god. Actually, it'll probably be like somebody on our ship. Who knows? Took the liberty of dusting of courses, Master. Your respiratory health is one of my whole presence. Mars Simele, a soaring bell is mending Sajanda. What he means is, on behalf of the Republic, we welcome you. And your very impressive entourage. Thank you. I have three interpreters, seven healers, sixty commandos. We must use the Voss healers sparingly. But they could save thousands of lives. Jik in tear, me beg dressed pastiat dan ilbi for cost in pain. What about this first son, Jedi? Has anything new turned up? Apparently, the first son may be completely unaware of who he really is. You mean anyone could be the first son and not know it? Kis tele tel, er seri tender hoge. We must be vigilant. Around the men, anyway. I'm sorry to interrupt. Master Seo's hosting a war council. He said you should join in right away. Welcome everyone. Supreme Chancellor, may I present our new allies. I greet you, Gaiden Co. and Hello Voice. The Empire threatens our core worlds, and your strength will be vital in the days ahead. The core worlds founded the Republic we defend. They are centers of government and commerce. Our society would crumble without them. Now an Imperial fleet is en route to one of these besieged worlds, Corellia, carrying thousands of reinforcements. That fleet must never arrive. We are ready to be of service, Supreme Chancellor. The Imperial fleet is protected by a dreadnought, the Javelin. Without it, we could scatter them easily. A functional dreadnought would be a huge asset in defending the core worlds. 
I need you and your alliance to capture the Javelin. You expect us to capture an entire Dreadnought? You excel at the impossible. Your smaller force should help you to slip through the defenses, board the Javelin, and force the Captain's surrender. Let us go. I leave this vital task in your capable hands. Good luck. Jedi, you have a rational mind. You know trying to capture a Dreadnought with the forces we have is utter insanity. If we remain true to our mission and to the Force, we cannot fail. Of course. I can't imagine how that slipped my mind. To begin, our ships distract the Javelin. You board. They're expecting an attack, but a defensive formation at a distance would keep them distracted. That would keep our ships out of the fire, but capturing a Dreadnought isn't like boarding a raft. We should go along. Me, Theron, Kaizen, everyone. We each take a few Voss commandos and our holo communicator. You head for the bridge. We split up and get the other sections under control. This mission will need all of us to stand any chance of success. Drop your hood, let's Santalis or Dargorsk. Excellent. If you have this in hand, I shall go. Corellio's defenders would benefit from my help. May the force be with you all. Well, uh, I don't even know. <clears throat> Does she need a hang on? Uh, Nadia, Nadia. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'll put that on her instead because that has an accuracy rating and stuff. If I can find it, there it is. It's like the exact same, just a different color. Alright. I need to go talk to Nadia because we got a lot of affection from her and Voss. My god. The royal family called the ship. They asked for me personally. Can you imagine? They want me to be their new representative. They obviously don't think I'm as good as father, but I told them my plans and I'll earn their respect. Taking this on has clearly been good for you. I've cleared my head, and doing Father's work has helped too. I want to use this chance. My people could learn a lot from the Republic, especially from the Jedi. We've never had a chance to talk about where you come from. It's mostly forest. Cutting road can take years because of all the thorn traps and wild animals. So our defense technology focuses on protecting our cities. The force fields light everything at night. I'd like to show you. I'd feel safe anywhere if you were with me. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, she's fallen for me. I was thinking about all the places we've been. Quesh was fun, apart from those Imperials all over our research station. And before that was the fortitude. Oh, the galaxy's just so violent. How do you cope? As Jedi, we look past momentary chaos and strive for the ideal. In this case, galactic harmony. That's very noble. I've known you for how long now? I thought I had you worked out. But I think I understand you more now. And I see you differently. It's rare for someone to make the effort to understand me. Now I can see the choices you have to make. How hard things must be for you too. But at least we have each other. As allies, I mean. Bow, chicka, wah, wah. Things are quiet back home for now, so I'm gonna focus on my Padawan studies. Um, I read the text the council sent me, but I still don't understand what a Padawan does. A Padawan hones her combat and meditation skills, exercises temperance, and is open to the knowledge of all cultures. So, what should I learn first, Master? A Jedi is always patient. The results of your actions may be years, even decades away, and you must be willing to wait. I try, but it's like lighting a fuse. I'm just putting off the bang till later. Maybe I should study something else. Remember the tenets of our order. There is no emotion, 
There is peace. There is no ignorance. There is knowledge. There is no passion. There is serenity. There is no chaos. There is harmony. There is no death. There is the Force. I should write this down. Thank you. I don't mean to be so slow. Everything is so new. If you need to talk about anything, I'm always here for you, Nadia. I won't forget. Again? Holy crap! How much damn options have I gotten for her? Oh, good. I hoped you'd have some time. I've been trying to study, but Dr. Cedric keeps coming to talk to me. He's offering to give me an astronomy lesson. Apparently, he built his own telescope and everything. He's really very charming. Something you have in common. But your company is infinitely preferable. I like talking to Dr. Cedrex, but only because he's so curious about everything. It's like talking to my father. It's not a problem, is it, that I'm friends with him? Remember that Holiday's very protective of Theron and his feelings. I know what that's like, when it comes to you anyway. You're more to me than just my master. You do know that, don't you? You're much more than a Padawan to me. I thought so. Dr. Sedrax doesn't come close. Oh. Just so you know, I may not be available for training for a while. And issues come up back home. It's a real puzzle. We could talk this over. Any excuse for some time together? See, a guild back home is building a new spaceport. They want me to petition the Senate for Republic help. Trouble is, the Guild wants to demolish the Annex of Kespin and build the new spaceport on that site. The Annex is our oldest ruin. To be honest, it's collapsing and sort of dangerous, but it's sacred. Surely the Guild could build the spaceport somewhere else. Clearing another site would take months. The forests around the capital are just too dangerous. We need that spaceport, but the Annex is so old. What would you do? A safe port would serve both your people and the Republic. A dangerous ruin serves no one. No chaos. Only harmony. No more chaotic ruins, just harmonious trade, hopefully. Thank you. You always make me feel better. Okay. Made a lot of progress with Nadia, didn't we? Bow chicka wow wow. I need a cell. Where's that droid at again? I think it's down here. Yeah, I'll do that later. I need to go back to the fleet. I'm just gonna waste my thing because I ain't gonna be on for a while anyway. So it'll it'll recharge by the time I get back on. Hey guys, we're teleporting to the fleet. You better make it quick. We're going. Wow! Ooh, gotta itch my butt. Ooh, got a itchy butt. Oh, dude, I'm freaking hungry, man. I'm getting stomach cramps from being so hungry. I am so hungry. <laughs> Alright. Return to the prime. I need to turn to the thing. I need to find the, uh... Priority mission drop box. I must find it. Also reminds me that I need to, um, I need to, uh, buy some skills before I forget. God, Voss was just long, wasn't it? It was long, 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 yeah, 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 long, 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 long. Here. Level forty-nine. Heck yeah, level 49, y'all. So I got four levels today. 
So that means tomorrow we're actually getting the level 52. And we still got one more thing to turn in. We gotta go to, uh, I think it's this one. Here. Hopefully that's this one. Hopefully I don't travel to the wrong one. Please don't travel to the wrong one. I'm probably gonna travel to the wrong one. Hey, I didn't! Woohoo! Yo, dog. What in blazes happened down there? The entire moon is breaking apart as we speak. This was a very serious threat, of course, but I think this goes a bit beyond our acceptable degree of force. I only struck our enemies, but they carried a heavy cost, even in death. Heavy cost and blew up a moon aren't the same thing. The moon was destroyed through Mentor's carelessness, not your agent. Cast blame where it belongs. Uh, I'm sorry. I just wasn't expecting... This situation has been very difficult. But you faced that difficulty and succeeded. You've saved more lives than anyone will ever know. The people of the Republic, of the entire galaxy, are alive today because of you. I simply acted as the Force guided me. Well, good thing the Force was on our side then. We also owe you a great debt of thanks. Uh, C5M3, was it? Without you, we would never have had a chance. I would be proud to offer you an assignment here in the Republic fleet as soon as you've had some standard maintenance checks. Assignment? Nonsense. I belong to no one. I will leave and go where I please. I'm sorry, I'm not sure that I can allow that. You have the same programming as the other renegades, and letting you roam free would be extremely dangerous. C5 is no threat to us, Director. He's earned the right to do as he wishes. If you're willing to take responsibility for the matter, by all means. C5, you're free to go. As if I needed your leave. Thank you for speaking on my behalf. It's good to know that some organics can understand. I've actually enjoyed meeting you, despite the circumstances. Perhaps we'll meet again someday. Thanks again for your help. It's been interesting. Take care. I don't like that guy. He seems like a douche. I need to, uh... What do we got here? Level 50 gloves. Get rid of these. Oh, take all, put that with that, so whenever we hit 50, we got a new new gloves and a focus thing. Alright guys, I'm gonna do here, and whenever we come back, we are going to uh, hit level 50! Peace off!